YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Red Mamba back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to win the new big top event. God, look at this event, bro. Can we just give a hold up? Gosh, 2K rare W from 2K. All right, this is a W event. Look at this event, bro. This is so dope. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys all the tips on how to win this event. It's a new double rep event, if you guys don't know, in NBA 2K20. Uh, you have to play against AI, sadly. Uh, it's kind of cool, I guess. You guys get to play against mascot AIs. Um, as always, shout out to the Nerdy Gang member of yesterday's video. Shout out to my man Mexican for being one of the first comments on yesterday's video. Appreciate you, my boy. My boy, look at my boy Mexican, bro. He's been a sponsor of the channel for a long time. As you guys can see, the little S next to his name, that means he's a sponsor. If you guys don't know, you guys can't sponsor the channel, you know what I mean? If you guys are trying to support. <laughs> anyway, shout out to my man Mexican. If you guys want to be featured in another video, make sure you guys are one of the very first to comment on one of my new videos. So in this event, if you guys do end up winning, which is pretty easy to win, um, as long as you guys have enough time, you guys do need about two hours to win this event. You guys will get a backpack and arm sleeves. Now, uh, 2K, just screwing us over again. RP to all the rep grinders. If uh, no matter what rep you are, if you guys uh, win this event, you guys get a backpack. So, RP to having a backpack being cool, I guess. Everyone's about to be wearing a backpack. I don't know if it's a glitch or if 2K meant to give backpacks out. We'll have to wait and see. But as of right now, if you do win the event, no matter what your rep is, you guys will earn the backpack and you will be able to wear it. So to win this event, to actually win it and earn the rewards, you guys have to play three different game modes. You guys have this event right here. You guys have to win this court right here three times. There's a mini hoop challenge. You know that little mini hoop that you guys have in like your my court? You have to win that three times. And then there's the cages. There's also cages in the park, which I'll show you guys here in a second. You guys have to win that three times. So you guys have to win three different events three times. You don't have to win them in a row or nothing. You guys have to win them three times. And um, that's why I'm telling you guys this is kind of time consuming. It's not the easiest event. Like to win, to get the dubs, it's, it's not hard at all. But you guys can see right here, there's people lined up waiting to play. Um, it's kind of like Court Conqueror. I don't know if you guys ever played Court Conqueror. But um, like you know how Court Conqueror is really easy to win. But it just takes forever because there's always people on the spot waiting. That's exactly how this event is, bro. It, there's only one court. Well, there's technically three, I guess. There's uh, this court. Uh, there's a cages court. You guys see right here. So you have to win the trampoline park, which is the cages, whatever you want to call it. The mini basketball, which is a little mini hoop three times. And then you have to win the house rules, which is uh, the little park one right here with the mascots, uh, which is cool. You do get it's a, it's a little up, uh, house rules event. Like, for example, me and my boy Pac, uh, we got the double alley-oops. So uh, if we do alley-oop, we'd get four points per alley-oop. So that's why you see us throwing a lot of oops in the uh, park event. As you guys can see right here, this is the cages. This is still in park. You guys don't have to go to cages or anything. This is in the park. You guys will see when you load into the uh, park. Uh, there's three events. They're all lined up next to each other. And this is the cages. Cages, for me, is the hardest one. All right? Uh, it's not like park where you could cheese. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to cheese uh, the cages event. All right, so when you guys go into the game just to play any of these events, I would recommend, this is the lineup I would recommend, all right? You guys need a playmaker, all right? Doesn't matter what kind of playmaker. It could be a play shot, play sharp, play fucking titty like. Uh, it don't matter. Just, it needs to be a, a dude that has Hall of Fame playmaking badges. It doesn't have to be, but it'll definitely help. Uh, Dimer, Lopsy, Pastor, all that type of stuff will definitely help. Uh, you want a dude that can slash, all right? That's why I'm on the team. I can slash. I can catch oops. It definitely helps to have a slasher. And then you want a big man. You guys can see, we don't have no big man. Our big, the big man on our team is a sharpshooter, a <laughs> small forward sharpshooter. So uh, if I were you guys, you guys either want to get a post score that can shoot or a, or a glass cleaner that can shoot. So you guys need someone that could shoot. I'd recommend a post score just so you guys can win the uh, the cages event. Because the cages, if you guys don't know, you guys can just do post score moves in the paint uh, on cages. And it's just cheesy. Like, for example, uh, when you guys are trying to do the, just regularly win the, uh, see how he jumps on the, on the trampoline? If you guys are a post score, you guys can, you don't have to jump. So you guys go to the paint and do like a post hook or something or a drop step dunk. For some reason, if you're a post score, you don't have to jump on the trampolines. O only if you're doing post moves though. I mean, you could be a big man doing the same thing, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'd recommend a, a post score to run this event or a glass cleaning, uh, shooter. Uh, glass cleaning shooter can do the same thing a post score does in the paint. Uh, it's just gonna be a little more difficult since you are not, you know, I mean, you're not a post scorer. So what we did, which wasn't that effective, uh, I'll show you guys here in a second what we did. It's a little method on how to score. Um, we were only able to play the cages one time because we didn't have enough time to play all the events, sadly. We only had about an hour or two to play. But you guys can see, 
you guys want your point guard to slash when your point guard slashes you'll have your slasher spotting up on like the mid range maybe a little bit deeper to the three kind of and right when your point guard slashes it's over with your 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 uh slot the dude that's guarding the slasher will pick up on the point guard instead of wide open oop now it was difficult to accomplish for us because we we're in asia so we kept just throwing horrible oops and stuff but if you guys are in your own server this is really easy you guys can do this method you guys can see he cuts i'm wide open for the oop it was just a bad angle on this one right here uh the other method you guys can do also it would be better if we had a big man because then the big man could just sit down low and get boards as well uh we didn't have no big man so that was also cruised but you guys can also just get a like i said get a post score and just do post moves in the paint like i said if you guys don't know in cages if you have a post score you guys can do uh post hooks you guys can do you guys can do this with any any build but it would be best if you have like a glass cleaner or a post score doing the post moves you guys can do drop step dunks you guys can do post hooks post fadeaways all that type of stuff um and and you guys don't have to jump on the trampoline like the hardest part about the the trampoline park is the fact that you have to jump on the trampoline and then by the time you jump on the trampoline you're like heavily contested so yeah all, all i would do if i were you guys get a post score just for that one uh cages because cages is difficult and um all you guys gotta do is just cheese the post score moves and it should be easy to um like i said you guys probably want a good three hours for this event we had about an hour and a half to play and it, 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 it i don't know it just wasn't enough we didn't have enough time even if we won every single game we didn't have enough time the only problem like i said is because everyone's waiting to play like you guys can see every time we uh every time we hop on the spot we have to wait for a game or two to play and then we can play so if i were you guys try to get at least three hours with this event um because if you guys don't have three hours i don't know if you guys can be able to beat this the, like i said it's not hard to win it's just the fact that the waiting times like you're gonna have to wait two one to two games every single time sometimes even three games and um yeah it's 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 just too much you feel me like you're just gonna be sitting there waiting um other than that if you guys if you guys get into a dead park or something it'll take you like maybe an hour or two like it, it's really easy to do it's just time consuming so this is what we did to win the park event whatever you guys want to call it, the mascot event uh we did win this one three times all we did was to set off balls it's that simple uh we had a, sl a, a sharp shooter semi off balls so it's really simple um you have your slasher spotting up around half court and then you guys you just gotta work around the screen and cut for a wide open oop that's why i told you guys to get a slasher and a uh, playmaker easy oops uh it's pretty much a 100 percent rate to go in especially if you're not delayed like we're playing in asia so it's a little more difficult like pack them with though oops when i was heavily contested because you can't really tell but look at this I i'm pretty much wide open every single time so wide open easy oop so that's what i did most of the time but like i said it, it you do mess up sometimes especially if you're delayed so um a, a few times here and there i would do, like especially when i got grand badge this is also what i would do right here um all you guys gotta do is the aggressive behind the back if he has if you guys have tight handles on say goodbye like just watch right here i break his angles every single time you guys see how he stumbles it's just a wide open dunk every single time um so you guys can do that also if you guys are a slasher that's an easy way to get a free bucket every single time the only problem with catching alley oops or dunking every single time is if the house rule like little will doesn't give you double dunks or double alley oops you're kind of you're, you're not screwed but sometimes you guys will see right here where the game will go just on forever because uh especially if you don't have a big man we have a big man so say goodbye to stopping people in the paint so uh, it was just we're playing this is a good like 10 20 minute game because i think we ended up scoring 30 points so uh yeah we had to end it on a three and that's the only way we could end it because we just couldn't stop these guys like we're we're playing good d they would just see right here they're just shoot over us get rebounds and stuff like that so like i said make sure you guys get a big man that can get rebounds because if you guys do it, it's it's this is so easy right here the only problem you guys will have is the cages other than that everything is really easy um if you guys use one of these methods i'm showing you guys with the park one the little mascot event you guys will win this with ease it'll take you three try well not three tries because you have to win this three times in a row it'll take you three games to win this you guys shouldn't lose one um yeah it's pretty simple as long as you guys know what you're doing you guys have a big man it, this was this was light work it wasn't even a challenge but yeah hopefully this helps you guys out man <coughs> fuck hopefully this, uh, 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 uh. thank god no one watches to the end of the videos man <laughs> um yeah appreciate you guys watching uh let me know if you guys need any more help with this video or with this event if i didn't explain anything let me know i hope you guys out in the comments um i will be live on twitch playing this event probably in europe 
uh so that's like probably like an hour or two after this video is dropped i'll be playing this event so if you guys want to watch me play it live or if you guys want to play with someone hit me up on uh twitch i'll leave a link in the description make sure you guys like up the video try to get 50 likes on this video within the first day sub up if you guys are new and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace oh shit i almost forgot comment comment big head mamba if you guys watch the very end all right i'm trying to see who my loyals are so comment big head mamba all right let's see who let's see who watch the very end